Hey, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screen, and this is part of our Fusion Silver Projection Screen lineup. This is the screen we've been working on uh, three weeks ago. It is a surface that is fused within a newer version of the, uh, not a newer version, but let's say a, another version of the Fusion Silver. As I said, the Fusion Silver chemical is quite interesting. It has so many different tables of contents uh, that allow the screen to be able to evolve into something new every time we actually alter the chemical. So uh, this is one of the uh, surfaces that actually blends well with this particular screen. Now, just want to add really quick, this is not a blackout cloth and this is not a screen paint. What you're looking at here is the actual screen itself at only 3% done. So there's a lot of work that has to be done on it. The screen can produce uh, somewhere in the range, it's getting there, an 80% of non-glare on the screen has a perfect uh, uh, picture quality at only a three percent but still a lot more work that has to be done before it even reaches thirty percent now we have our NEC VT595 projector sitting right up on top of the screen to show you this much uh, light coming off the uh, projector uh, lumens coming off the projector and hitting the screen you will see a very little little amount <coughs> sorry about that little amount of glare or hot spotting on the screen pretty much next to nothing. Now these screens have an invisible border. The border is completely invisible on the screen, which means if you, if you get the screen and you basically bring down your projector where you have a little border around it, you won't see it to be completely invisible. Pretty freaking cool, I tell you right now. So I'm gonna do this demonstration really quick. I'm gonna show you the advancements of the new chemical. Just to let you know, as I said before, this is not a blackout cloth. This is not a, um, a, a, a form of, uh, paint that we're going to be selling. This is an actual physical fixed screen. They'll only be available in 100 inches 16 by 10 only. Um, right now, like I said, they're still in development, but this is the first screen that's going to have an invisible border attached to it. You can just hang it up on the wall and voila, it's going to look freaking amazing. So, um, like I said, a lot of work behind the screen, especially trying to get the screen to actually be able to be hit with a projector this close without causing glare on the screen. And that's freaking and a hard, very, very hard nightmare to actually try to get around, but we actually accomplished it in three weeks. All right, so let me show you what we have. That's pretty cool, right? All right, let's go over here really quick. Let's grab something else. I'm gonna do this one right here. I've done this one before, but I like this particular video. This is the advancement of the invisible border. Hold on for a minute. I'm gonna go back and reset something really quick. Uh, my, uh, the bobbin's been sticking a little bit. There we go. It's been the information at the bottom hasn't doesn't disappear sometimes. There we go. I should have done it right there. There we go. All 
This will show you the more on the invisible border. This looks like I said at three percent. It looks it's pretty good. I'm telling you, it's pretty good. I mean, a lot of people may look at this and say, "Hey, this was freaking amazing." But I'm really hard on myself when it comes to my testing. I need my screens to look amazing, like absolutely amazing. And for me, this right here is okay, but it could be a whole lot better. Still a lot more work to be done. The picture quality, the quality is freaking amazing. Visible borders. <laughs> Freaking cool. So, like I said, what you're seeing right now, this is the actual screen itself. Like I said, this is how they're going to look. This is the surface of them, so they're gonna look absolutely freaking amazing. Can you imagine neon lights around this freaking screen? Ooh, man, I gotta, I gotta test that out. You want to watch a movie? Let's, let's, let's put a movie on here. Let's see what that looks like. Um, let's see. I know I do Angry Bird to death. I really do, but I just want to see it on here, okay? I'm sorry if I do it again. I really am. But I just want to see it one more time on here. So just bear with me. All right. I know you guys are thinking, you and your freaking Angry Bird. Yeah, I know. I, I like that show. I like that movie. I really do. I like the colors and everything, and it's beautiful. I'll get, I promise I'll get some more some more videos for you guys on here so you guys can see some more stuff. Yeah, but we got so much stuff, man, lined up for the new technology for these screens. Man, I cannot wait to show you some of this cool stuff we're working on. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Tell me this is not cool. <coughs> mm, sorry about that. I do apologize for that one. Got a cough, you got a cough. But I don't want to do it in front of the camera, in front of you guys, so I do apologize for that one. Try to hold it in the best I can. Ooh, ooh man, this is looking freaking good. I'm, I'm excited over here, guys. You have no idea. Stop fighting me. There we go. Oh, yeah, this looks awesome. Man, 3%? Not, not bad for 3%. Still gonna need a lot more, more, um, a lot more work, but still for 3%, really good. that the Paul set in the middle I just got to say this really quick we have this guy who trolls us I guess name uh, his name is Jimmy or crow or whatever so I know he has a habit of of, uh, of uh, trying to outdo us all the time so 
I have to make this statement really quick. So I know for a fact that you're probably going to do the exact same thing that I just did here and try to show how to do it better because you constantly do this all the time with our work, which we don't care because you, do, you don't run our tests, you don't do our, our demonstrations, you don't basically test your screens against high performance screens, you don't hit your screens with tons of lights so you're not in the same category as us when we, uh, do, when, when we actually do what we do when it comes to our development research and development team. So I know you're pretty much going to try to do the same thing I'm doing right now, but just putting it out there so you guys know that, you know, we did this first so you guys can see this. Funny thing about it is he came up with a paint called, um, called Sky Blue and he posted it. And I had to come in and tell him that, look, we did the Sky Blue uh, 3.7 Gold Edition way back in 2014. I developed that. I had beta testers actually uh, beta test that. So if you look at his video where he claims he did the Sky Blue and you look back and you type in Digital One Crystal Screen Paint, which was my first company, you'll see that we developed that product first. So we put him on blast. He stopped actually putting out the videos that he actually developed it. But yeah, we had to let him know that we developed that first. But just to let you know, James, but if you have any ideas about trying to do this one too, uh, I wouldn't suggest you do. All right. Um, anyway, you wouldn't even, even if you did try to, you wouldn't even come close to the technology of what this stuff can do. I mean, it's only at 3%. Look at the freaking screen. All right. So let me get back on that. Just had to put that out there really quick because this just joker really has a habit of doing this kind of stuff. All right. And it's also too, if you decide to repost our video, because you've been doing that a lot too, reposting our videos. So be careful because like I said before, our technology has patents and trademarks on it. All right, there's copyrights, there's patents on these, uh, this, this product, so don't mess up, Chief, okay? Just want to put that out there really quick, okay? Because it might seem like it's all fun and games to you, but this is a legitimate business. This is a hobby to you. This is my company, all right? So just want to put that out there really quick. All right, so let's get this going right now. Sorry, there's just certain things I have to say, man. I have to say because you have people that just cross the line too many times. <laughs> Okay guys, let me get out of here real quick. My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens and the uh, Fusion Silver Crystal Vision Projection Screens. Hope you enjoyed this video demonstration on our new invisible screen that's coming out. I'd like to thank you all for watching.